Daniel. I'm at Community Montessori School today on a Tuesday afternoon, a very cold, blustery Tuesday afternoon, uh, cold front season. It's fall finally, and what better things to do in fall than to do a project that involves a lot of heat. And so I have here a vacuum forming rig that I spent the last uh, week building and designing. Uh, I guess not in that order, designing and then building. Some of it I built and then designed later because I had to go back and repair things. But anyway, we have a stand here, a custom-made stand that fits over a simple uh, kitchen burner, a single burner. And then over here I have a, uh, a rig, a, a frame that's designed to hold a piece of polystyrene sheet. So I will do that. I'm going to take this, uh, this rig right here. I'm going to set this guy right there and a piece of polystyrene sheet. And that is going to be held in with four little clamps like this. All right. And just on all four sides. And um, by the way, I love walking through uh, stores and looking for things that aren't really supposed to be used for things because they're often really cool. Well, from an old, from a, uh, uh, Walmart in the camping area there was a an Ozark camping stove and it has this handle on it that you can fold right up so I drilled that out of the, the pan and uh, and yeah that's the coolest handle ever anyway here is a vacuum forming table this is the heart of the machine here so we've got a table now this whole entire surface is capable of drawing a vacuum but I've walled off some of it uh, for the sake of this class so we could make small square um, vacuum forms and there's a lot of holes in here and a two horsepower shop vac right down here. And that is gonna draw suction into this machine and we're going to use that suction to draw this polystyrene down. Now if I were to do that now, nothing would happen because the polystyrene is very, very stiff when it's cool. Now I'm gonna do this little star here. I've got this little half Christmas star. Things work best when they're not undercut. Like this Millennium Vulcan here. It doesn't work well because it's, it's undercut and it will trap the plastic all around it. But um, we're gonna set that star right there. And, because Halloween's coming up, but Christmas is coming up next, so let's get prepared. Now here we go, we're gonna set this on here. I'm gonna time this for about 32, 33 seconds, somewhere about there. Now I don't have a timer uh, ready right now, so, or on me, so I'm just gonna wait until I feel like this is the right temperature. You want this polystyrene to get, um, to get kind of soggy and sink down just a little bit into the, you know, below the form, not too far. If it gets too thin and too hot, um, it will actually rip or tear when you draw a vacuum. I think we're just about good. Now here in a moment, give us just a few more seconds and I will turn the machine on and then we've got to line this up just right. I think, I think we're about good. Well, not quite 30 seconds. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we're good about good. So here we go, I'm put the Vecum on, and here we go. And there it is. And every time that happens, I still laugh. I just, it's just super cool to me. Um, take that frame off, this is very hot by the way, and when you peel this out, your object may kind of be trapped in there. Now you can see where the, the plastic may have gone just a little long and it pulled those beads right through. But the, but the idea of vacuum forming is so you can cut this out and then use it to make shapes and you can recreate that, that star. And we can pop that right out and use it again and again and again. And there it is. So that's a vacuum form piece. Super, super cool. There's a lot of uh, neat designs you can do. There's some, um, some cars there, some matchbox cars, a couple of pumpkins that I made from a silicone uh, cupcake mold out of Plaster of Paris. Here's our infamous Millennium Vulcan that had, yeah, it gets undercut and it's hard to get out. Uh, we've got a shell, one that uh, Miss Katie made. By the way, who's holding the camera for us right now? Thank you so much, Katie, and thank you for helping me with this class today. I couldn't have done it without you. Um, all right, and um, yeah, so there it is. Super fun, uh, vacuum forming. And uh, by the way, this is how uh, ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, from uh, LucasArts, a uh, Star Wars uh, team, actually made all the Stormtrooper armor and helmets and all that cool stuff. So um, in the world of cosplay, there is no better a machine. You just want something bigger to make armor. Anyway, thank you so much, um, uh, Katie, for, having, uh, for helping me with this. And, um, and that's it. Until the next project, uh, science all the things. We'll see you next time.